Hello, I'm Peter Johnson, and this video is a quick uh, demonstration from my event handler demonstration that I have in my online course. Here's a shot of the event handler demo, and you can see the event if I click on a hyperlink, it'll automatically change the picture. Now I'm going to go behind the curtain and show Firebug. And if I go into Firebug and change it to the JavaScript, and I'm going to put a breakpoint right inside my function show graphic. So here's my show graphic, and I have a breakpoint. So now if I refresh the page, and click on the hyperlink, you can see that it stops. Now what we want to do is we want to track our source. So we'll go over to the watch expression and type in source. Now before I go further, I'm going to take you into the code. And this is the web page. And on the web page, you can see here that we have several hyperlinks. So here's our security hyperlink and these aren't finished yet in this set of code but you can see that the, the, the hyperlink for security for the H reference I have a graphic so it's going to be the thumbprint key GIF and when the user clicks on it this on click event is going to happen and it's going to call a function that we have set up in Firebug so it's going to call show graphic this now the return false is going to say don't follow the, the hyperlink reference. So really what we're doing is we're doing the, using this href as a placeholder for the graphic file. So we're saying go get this graphic file, file name, and then pass it up to show graphic. Now in show graphic, it's expecting a, a hyperlink element and we're going to call it this. This is a keyword in JavaScript which means this element right here. Anywhere we would use this it would take what element we whatever element this was in. So in this case it's going to be this this hyperlink right here. And again when it comes back it's just going to stop. It's not going to go off to a to a hyperlink. Now if you move down you'll see further down in the page that we have an image, an image tag, and we've given it a unique ID of dynamic graphic. And we're going to look for that in just a minute. And right now, when we started the page, the graphic that shows up is this dynamic graphic library. And to go back there, and this is that image right here. If I right mouse click on this and look at properties, can see that the name of this graphic is dynamic graphic library jpeg that was a right mouse click properties to see that and what we're going to do is we're going to extract out this file name from our hyperlink and we're going to replace the source in the image with this new name so we're going to take thumbprint key dot gif and put it right in here. So let's go back to our code and watch what happens. Remember now we have a breakpoint on our source. We've passed in the element. So this is our element. So we passed in that A element and now we're going to use the DOM and we're going to say get the attribute href. So we're going to step into that and now you can see in source that the attribute, the value of href was graphic thumbprint key gif. And going back to the code, you can see that here's our hyperlink that we're looking at. It found our attribute href and it returned this information. The next thing it did is it went and it found 
our ID dynamic graphic, which was this image tag. So now we know where this tag is on the web page. And we're going to store that under dynamic image element. And the final thing we're going to do is take the dynamic image element and we're going to set the attribute. In this case, we're going to do the source attribute and we're going to use it for the new image. And if I step through that, you'll see this image change. And there's our thumbprint, gra thumbprint graphic with a new image. And as we click on each of these, that's what happens. Other variations that we could use would, instead of using the hyperlink here, the H reference, we could have a web page that we could jump to. And we could do another attribute in here, save image name, and we could extract that attribute out. And that way we could have a hyperlink that actually worked as well as changing the image. We could also do um, on mouse over so the image would change if they moused over as opposed when they clicked. So that's another variation that's real popular. So this shows a really good example of how event-driven programming works with JavaScript.